Thank you, Jesus. keeping, saving name. So God, we lift you. Thank you, Holy God. we magnify you. I feel Jesus. You reign. And you rule. You're worthy, you're worthy. Hallelujah. Yes, you are. We honor the name of the Lord this morning. Oh, Give him praise and give him glory. Everybody say, God, I honor to you say. I won't be overwhelmed. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision. Give me vision. To see things like you do. See things like you do. Say, God, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. Say, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Just what to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know just what to do. You know just what to do. Everybody say, I will love. to be on the line this morning uh, just to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. I greet everybody this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, just worship the Lord with me. Just worship the Lord with me this morning. He's worthy to be praised and he is worthy to be adored this morning. We honor him. We magnify him and we lift him up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for who you are this morning, oh God. There is no other God but you. You stand alone. You are the great I am this morning. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor this morning. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. We love him today and we honor him today. We lift him up today. Come on, somebody, right where you are. Just utter the words out of your mouth and just say hallelujah.
He is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And we worship him. This morning, hallelujah. just begin to tell him hallelujah. Just tell him something sweet right where you are. I don't know where in your house you are this morning, but wherever you are in your house, just begin to open up your mouth and just let the presence of the Lord come in and do what needs to be done. We worship him this morning. We bless your name this morning, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you know he reigns this morning, if you know he is the King of Kings, and if you know he is the Lord of Lords, just begin to magnify his name this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, he reigns this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, he is worthy to be praised. And he is worthy. Come on, somebody. Just begin to magnify the name of the Lord this morning. We give him praise. We give him glory. And we give him honor this morning. We bless his name because he is God and he is God all by himself. And he don't need no other to be God. We worship him today. And we magnify the name of Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. There is no other God but our God today. He is the great I am and the Prince of Peace. He is the Rose of Sharon. He is the bright and the morning star this morning. He is the everlasting King. Brandon he is Stork. the conquering lion of the Here's tribe it. of Judah today. Hallelujah. We glorify him. Hallelujah. We magnify him today. Hallelujah. We give him praise. We give him glory and we give him honor. Come on, somebody, just open up your mouth and just begin to bless the name of the Lord. Just open up your mouth and begin to magnify the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised this morning. Hallelujah.
somebody that's a good place just to worship him. That's a good place just to magnify him this morning. If you know the chains are broken, glory to God. Just begin to open up your mouth and just bless the name of the Lord. Just worship him in the beauty of holiness this morning. He is worthy to be praised. Oh, we worship you this morning, oh God. Oh, we give you all the praise this morning, oh God. With our hands lifted up this morning, hallelujah. And our mouth filled with praises this morning. He is a worthy to be praised, hallelujah. We lift you up and we adore you this morning, mighty God. We give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. Every, oh, we know that the chains are broken today. We know that the chains are broken today. We know that the chains are broken today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We know that the chains are broken this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We worship you today. Oh, we magnify you this morning, oh God. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. There is freedom. In your presence, there is freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your presence, there is freedom. Hallelujah. I am free. In your presence, there is freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just say hallelujah, 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 it's the highest praise, come on somebody, just say hallelujah, the enemy is trying to get you down this morning, but I dare you just to open up your mouth. Hallelujah. You're free this morning. You're free to worship Him. You're free to magnify Him. Hallelujah. 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 I am free. Hallelujah. I am free. Hallelujah. 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 Oh my God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you this morning, oh God. Oh, I dare somebody, I dare somebody just to worship him in spirit and in truth this morning. I dare somebody just to open up your mouth like a trumpet and just give God the best praise you can give him today. He is worthy to be praised this morning. He is worthy to be praised this morning. We worship him and we magnify him. 
We bless his name this morning and we lift him up. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. We are here this morning just to worship the Lord and just to magnify him and just to give him praise. Glory to God. I need somebody just to just open up your mouth this morning and just acknowledge God for who he is today. There is no other God Which but him. He stands alone. He sits high and he looks low. That heaven is his throne today. And earth is his footstool. We worship him. We magnify him this morning. We bless his name and we lift him up. He is he God and he is God all by Lord. himself. Hallelujah. Defender behind me. Defender behind me. Y'all been practicing. Oh, bash. I, I won't fear. I won't fear. I'm filled with anointing. I'm filled with anointing. Yeah, cool. Shout out the boss. Come on, somebody. Find your place of worship this morning. Find your place of praise this morning. Hallelujah. God has not given us the spirit of fear today. I need somebody to say hallelujah. somebody just lift your hands and just give God a praise glory to God this morning you get up the enemy try to tell you that you are alone glory to God and God is not in your corner glory to God but God is reassuring us today hallelujah that you are not alone and he is on your side I just need somebody just to hallelujah stop what you're doing right now and just begin to bless the name of the Lord just begin to bless the name of the Lord this morning and say hallelujah Today, the Lord. 
spirit lives within me. Somebody needs to walk in peace this morning. Your spirit lives within me. your eyes see this morning he is with us today and we have the victory this morning we worship him today and we magnify the name of the Lord this morning he is great and he is greatly to be praised we lift him up this morning he is God and he is God all by himself Come on, somebody, just begin to bless the name of the Lord with me today. There is only one name. Oh, hallelujah. There is only one name. The power to save. The power to save. Only one. Oh, and every time we'll confess, every time. 
place just to worship him this morning. Oh, we give you praise, God. We give you praise this morning. We worship you this morning, oh God. We magnify you this morning, oh God. We give you praise this morning, oh God. We give you glory. Come on, Zion. to be praised and he is worthy to be adored he is the great I am he is the prince of peace he is the rose of Sharon he is the bright and the morning star he is the everlasting king he is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah and there is none like him hallelujah 
he's worthy. what it looks like hallelujah I don't care what the enemy try to whisper in your ears today you are loved by God and his banner over you this morning is love so we worship him I need all the worshipers just to join me this morning and just open up your mouth like a trumpet glory to God you may feel this courage you may feel like you are alone you may feel glory to God unloved this morning you may feel as if, hallelujah, you're by yourself. Hallelujah, and there's nobody around you. Glory to God, hallelujah, to give you a hug and just tell you that they love you. But this morning, I'm reassuring you today that with everything that is happening in the world, the love of God is still evident in your life because you are still on top of your grave. You have breath in your body. You have been through so much, but yet still, Glory to God. He allows you to stand and we worship him. Hallelujah. We magnify you this morning, oh God. He's worthy to be praised. You are loved this morning. You are loved. You are loved. You are loved. I don't know about you, but I receive his love today. I receive the love of God. I receive the love of God. I receive the love of God. I receive the love of God this morning. I receive, come on somebody, receive the love of God. 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 today glory to God because I don't know about you but I need the Lord to just have his way this morning and even in the midst of worship and even in the midst of praise glory to God hallelujah we honor you this morning oh God mighty God we magnify your name this morning father God we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor today you are God and you're God all by yourself and you don't need no other to be God. You are holy and you are righteous. You are marvelous and you are wonderful. You are faithful this morning, O oh God. And you are loving and you are true. You are excellent in all the earth and words cannot explain your awesomeness and how wonderful you are to us. Lord God, your word said if your people who are called by your name, mighty God, should humble themselves. Father God, and turn from their sins ways. Then mighty God, your word says that you would hear from heaven. Father God, and heal our land. Mighty God, your word said if we regard iniquities in our hearts, mighty God, then you will not hear us. So even as we stand in the midst 
and we look to the hills from whence cometh our help. Father God, we ask you to have your way and cleanse our hearts this morning. Purify our spirit this morning, O God, and sanctify our soul today. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from the presence, and take not the Holy Spirit this morning, but restore unto us the joy of that salvation. God, and uphold us with that free spirit today, O God. Then will we teach each transgressors thy ways and sinners God shall be converted unto thee as we stand in the midst this morning we pray that you will have your way on this broadcast we pray father God that you would speak by your power and we pray father God that you will move by your spirit and let the anointing God that makes the difference Lord God break the yokes this morning mighty God loose the bonds this morning father God destroy the fetters this morning I pray father God for each and every household uh, that is connected to this broadcast this morning. Uh, I pray, God, that you would leave no stones uh, unturned this morning, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, but let your word transform. Uh, let your word restore. Uh, let your word renew. Uh, let your word strengthen this morning. Uh, and every attack and plan and trap and ambush of the enemy uh, that would want to come up against us today, uh, even as we cry out unto you, uh, we pray, God, that the Spirit of the Lord uh, will lift up a standard uh, against the enemy today. Uh, mighty God, this morning uh, we look to the hills from which cometh our help uh, because we know God uh, where our help comes from uh, and we're not leaning to the right uh, no, we're leaning to the left uh, but mighty God we grab a hold uh, of the horns of the altar today uh, and we cry out unto you uh, Lord God because your word says uh, if we seek you God we shall find you uh, if we not God the door shall be open. So, Father God, we knock in prayer this morning and we knock in intercession this morning, asking you, God, to clear the airways, mighty God, so that earth could connect to heaven and that your divine glory may fall. Mighty God, upon our lives this morning, we look to you today and we open up our hearts, we open up our minds, we open up our soul, and we open up our spirit, mighty God, and we ask you to move like only you can. Lord God, remember the broken. Remember the wounded. Remember those who are struggling in their minds. Lord God, this morning, I pray you send a word. Mighty God from heaven. Lord God, to encourage. Lord God, to uplift. Mighty God, to strengthen. Lord God, to rebuke and reprove. Father, in the name of Jesus, we can't do it by ourselves. And we can't do it on our own. So this morning, in God. We trust in the solid rock. Lord God even as the songwriter says on Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. So we stand on your rock. Lord God in the midst of chaos. We stand on your rock. Mighty God in the midst of turmoil. We stand on your rock. Mighty God in the midst of confusion. We stand on your rock. Because we know this morning if we stand on you God then you will keep our feet mighty God planted on solid ground and we shall not sink so Father God today we plant our feet on Christ the solid rock this morning and we look to you and we tell you thank you for what you are about to do for what you have already done and for what you are doing right now and every assassination of the enemy. We come against it now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Every retaliation, every backlash of the enemy God that would want to come up against us this morning. We plead the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus let the blood of Jesus mighty God resonate in our hearts and minds today. Come on somebody, that's a good place just to worship the King of Kings this morning. That's a good place just to magnify the name of the Lord today. That's a good place, glory to God. Just to lift him up this morning. He is worthy to be praised and he is worthy to be adored. We honor the name of the Lord today. We magnify the name of the Lord today. We lift up the name of the Lord today. There is none like him. 
He sits high and he looks low. That heaven is his throne. Come on, somebody. I need a prayer warrior. Just to touch and agree with me today. Glory to God. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I welcome everybody this morning. Glory to God to the Temple of Restoration Outreach Ministries online service. Glory to God. I don't know about you, somebody, but I can't wait to, to get back into the building just to worship God with the saints and the people of God. But we give God praise this morning. We give him glory this morning. We need him today. We honor him and we bless his name. Oh, we give him praise. Consuming fire. My heart's desire. He is my heart's desire this oh, morning. Lord, oh, we need you, Lord. Come on, somebody. That's a good place. We're getting ready to read the word of God. That's a good place just to give him praise. That's a good place just to give him worship. That's a good place just to magnify him. He is God and he is God all by himself. everybody this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. It's just a blessing to be on the line this morning with the people of God, just to worship God in spirit and in truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I greet Prophetess Palmer in the mighty name of Jesus this morning. I greet Pastor Bryce and Minister Chanel, the saints of Temple of Restoration Outreach Ministries, the the R-A-C-Y-D saints and uh, all God's wonderful people I greet you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming King. Glory to God. It's just a blessing to be with you again today. Amen. I'm going to read the word of God from Psalms 46 this morning. Glory to God. It says, if you have your Bibles, you can grab it. Hallelujah, you can grab it. Hallelujah, Sister Amanda, I'll tell you after. Glory to God. But Psalms 46, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. 
says God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. The heathen rage. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Verse 8 says, Come, behold the works of the Lord, what desolation he had made in the earth. Glory to God. He, he maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bows and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Verse 10. I don't know who this is for this morning. But verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. It says the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Glory to God and we give God praise. Hallelujah. We give him glory and we give him honor. It's just a blessing to. Hallelujah. Be on the line today. The fact that you have life and strength in your body it is an indication this morning that you have a right to praise him and to worship him things may not seem all together this morning things may not be in alignment with how we would want it to be but the fact that you are here it just simply tells me glory to God that you have a right to praise him. So we honor him this morning and we bless his name and we lift him up. We are going to get into the word of the Lord. I believe that God has a word for somebody today. Glory to God, just to let you know that he is still in control. Glory to God. I just want to draw your attention this morning to St. Mark chapter 4, and I'm going to read from the 35th verse. I just need somebody to put it up on the screen for me. If you're able to, St. Mark chapter 4, I'm reading from verses 35 to 41. Amen. Glory to God. St. Mark 4. Glory to God. I'm not going to read until I see somebody put it up, so if you're able to. Amen. Prophetess, just go ahead and put that up for me. Amen. It says, St. Mark chapter 4, 31 to 4, 35 to 41. Amen. It says, And the same day, when the evening was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when... They had sent away the multitude. They took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, Keto Shai. And they awake him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so faith, so fearful? How is it that he have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this? Hebo ko That even the wind and the sea 
obeys him. The topic of my message this morning is what's your response to the storm? I don't know if you have anybody in your home, but if you do, just look at them and say, neighbor, what is your response to the storm? Glory to God. A storm, a storm is a violent weather phenomenon in which there is heavy rain and wind due to moisture in the air. Now watch this, somebody. Depending on the type of storm, glory to God, there are different characteristics, glory to God, of the storm. So depending on the type of storm and the characteristic of the storm, the storms have different names. Storms, glory to God, can be in the form of a hurricane. You can have, glory to God, a local storm, which is a thunderstorm. You can have a regional storm, which is a tropical storm. Glory to God. There are different types of storm. Hallelujah. You have typhoons. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You have tornadoes, which is also categorized as a storm. Glory to God. And a storm... A storms, storms are not only categorized by the components that makes them up, but also by the seasons. And based on the season, glory to God, that you are in, glory to God, based on the season, hallelujah, that you are in with your walk with God will determine the kind of storm that you are going through. Glory to God. And not only the kind of storm that you are going through, but it's also going to determine, hallelujah, the type of storm that you are about to go into or the type of storm that you are coming out of. Glory to God. Storms, ha, ha, glory to God. Storms sometimes may seem like a threat to our lives. Glory to God. Because it's so much rain and it's so much wind. Ha, 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 ha. There are so much things that is happening at one time. So uh, 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 if, 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 if a thunderstorm is going on, glory to God, and the lightning is flashing, you would tend to tell your children, move from the window because if you stay close to the window, glory to God, uh, and it seems as if that the lightning is going to come in and strike you, glory to God. So storms sometimes may seem... Hallelujah, like a threat to our lives and our surroundings. Uh, glory to God. And as the storm comes and as the wind blows, glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. It may seem as if... Uh, it may seem as if this morning, glory to God, that it comes to bring a threat to our life. But I am here to tell somebody that the storm that you are going through, glory to God, the fact that God is right in the center of the storm, the fact that God is right there with you, you got to understand that the winds that you are seeing blowing, glory to God, uh, even though you're in the ship and the ship is rocking, glory to God, uh, the, the, the winds may cause the ship to rock from side to side. You got to understand that the storm that you are looking at today, the storm that you are facing in your life, it is not a threat to your life, but you got to understand that the storm that you're looking at, hallelujah, is more of an asset than a threat to your life. You say, pastor, hallelujah, why would you say that the storm is more of an asset to my life? Because you got to understand, hallelujah, the storm that you just came out of it taught you some stuff the storm glory to God that you are in right now it is teaching you some things it is teaching you how to hold on to the unchanging hands of God it is teaching you glory to God how to have faith over fear it is teaching you glory to God that in this time and season hallelujah that the Lord will not leave you nor 
forsake you nor your seed begging bread. It is teaching you, glory to God, that in the midst of discomfort and despair, glory to God, that he is your comforter. Glory to God. So you cannot look at your storm as a threat, but sometimes somebody, you got to know how to flip the script on the enemy. Glory to God, because when God allows storms to come in your life, hallelujah, the enemy will try to make you, hallelujah, think, hallelujah, that the storm is there just to intimidate you and to push you and put you in a place of despair. Glory to God, the Bible says that the Lord gave the disciples instructions. Watch this, somebody, why would God give them instructions and not tell them, glory to God, what they were out, what they were about to go through because he was trying to teach them a lesson. He was trying to teach them something. Glory to God. So after ministering to the multitude, I believe that he wanted to have a more closer and a more intimate time with his disciples. So he wanted to draw away and pull away from the crowd. So he says, you know what? Glory to God. It's your time now. It's your time for me to pull you aside and pour some more into you because you got to understand that I won't be here with you always. So while I am here, let me get the chance to pour into you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So he said to them, come on, let's go. We are about to take it on the other side. We are about to take it into a more secluded space. We are about to take it, glory to God, into a more quiet place. Hallelujah. So he give them directions like some of us now. As you are going through your Christian journey, as you are walking this walk with Jesus Christ, he has given you some hallelujah directions on where to go and what to do. But he did not tell you, glory to God, the different storms that you were about to go through. Jesus spoke to the disciples, the Bible says, ah, now they have gotten on the ship, getting ready to set sail, thinking that it was going to be, glory to God, a sail, a smooth sailing going over on the other side. But I remember the Bible declares, glory to God, that the race is not for the strong nor for the swift. Hallelujah. But it's those that can endure until the end. And in this time and season, brethren, as the Lord gives us direction, he is also looking, glory to God, as he is also looking at us to endure. Paul said it to Timothy, he said, Timothy, now you got to understand because you are now a part of the elite. You are now, glory to God, a part of a group of people who represents who Jesus Christ is. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, glory to God, you are now a part of the army. So the fact that you are now converted and you are walking with Jesus Christ, Paul said to Timothy, Timothy, now you got to endure hardship as a good soldier. In other words, Timothy, it's not going to be smooth sailing from Iran, but there are going to be some unexpected battles that are going to pop up. Glory to God. There are going to be some unexpected trials that are going to come your way. There are going to be some roadblocks and some detours. Hallelujah. That are going to come your way. Have you ever been traveling yet and you set your GPS? Glory to God. Thinking that the GPS, hallelujah, glory to God, has all the directions. But for some reason, the GPS did not catch the detour that was coming up and all of a sudden it may seem as if that you were shift off course but look at your neighbor and say neighbor it seems as if that I'm about to be shift off course but if I trust God for who he is even though it looks and seems as if that I am going into a detour I, I, I understand that I'm not going to be denied of getting to my destination. So they jump into the ship's 
somebody like some of us we jump into the ship they begin to pull the sails up and as they begin to pull the sails up the direction that they got from Jesus they set course they begin to set course and as they set course glory to God they're going on their way but the Bible says as the ship traveled over the sea as the ship traveled over the water then all of a sudden something start happening to the sails all of a sudden glory to God the winds start to blow all of a sudden the forecast begin to change. Have you ever been, glory to God, where it seems as if that you are on the mountaintop and you can see the sun shining. There is no cloud in sight. You look to yourself and you say, I'm about to have a good day. But then all of a sudden, it's like the clouds start coming in from the east and the west. Hallelujah. The clouds start to set up to rain and then all of a sudden there is a shift in the atmosphere something begin to happen that you did not expect glory to God I don't know about you but have you ever dressed for a sunny day and by the time you get through half of the day the rain is falling and you do not have the resources glory to God or any counteraction against the rain that was the that was the disciples in the ship glory to God the ship was sailing across the ocean ah glory to God and it seems and feel as if that they did not have anything to counteract what was taking place because it was not in their expectation that the rain was going to fall or a storm was going to break forth but I thank God this morning for who my God is because his eyes see further than my eyes can see he said it to Jeremiah he said Jeremiah you gotta understand glory to God that my ways are not your ways and my thoughts are not your thoughts I sit high and I look low and heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool glory to God so even as they go across the water prophetess glory to God their response hallelujah to the storm was a response of fear their response to the storm were a, were a response glory to God like they don't know the God that they serve the Lord said to ask somebody this morning what is your response to the storm that you are about to go into what is going to be your response to the storm that you are about to go into what is going to be your response to the storm that you are facing right now. There are some people, glory to God on this broadcast, that you're going through the storm. Hallelujah. And I see you in a corner. I see you, glory to God, with intimidation in your face. I see you, glory to God, with fear in your eyes. But the Lord told me to tell you that he has not given you the spirit of fear but of power and love and of a sound mind. Ah, glory to God. The Lord told me to tell you ha, that he will not leave you nor forsake you. Ha, nor your seed begging bread. Ha. The Lord told me to tell you. Ha, hallelujah. Glory to God. Ha, you need to stop looking at the storm. Ha, and you need to start look at the God ha, who created and orchestrated the storm. Ha. The Lord told me to tell you ha, that the storm was a part of his plan. Ha, that the storm was a part of his will that the storm glory to God was a part of the ingredients for your life just to get you to the place where we need to get you so your response for the storm I hear the Lord says glory to God now you're in the midst of the storm and the fact that you're already in it glory to God you shall not fear if you were fearing before I hear the Lord says 
that you need to lift your faith and believe him that he's going to take you out of it. The Lord said you're looking around and you can't see him. But he said to tell you this morning, even though you can't see him, it does not mean that he is not there. Even though you can't see him, it does not mean that he's not going to show up. Even though you can't see him, it does not mean that he's not going to move Ah, glory to God on your behalf. But God, he commanded it your shire. He said to tell you, he's waiting on your response so he can respond to the storm that is going on in your life. I hear the psalmist says, he says, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his troubles. Glory to God. When the disciples saw that the storm wasn't going nowhere, glory to God, when the disciples saw that the storm was not calming down, when the disciples saw that the wind would not stop blowing and the rain would not stop falling, the Bible says that the rain falls so much that it filled the ship. Glory to God, and I don't know about you, but if rain water fill a ship, glory to God. God, it's just telling me that it's putting the ship in a position to sink. Glory to God, but understand this morning that if God set you on a course, water could fill your ship. You got to understand that the fact that he is on the ship, that your ship won't sink. The fact that he is on the ship, that your ship won't go under. But he wants to know, even though you your ship is being filled with water even though the cares and the troubles of this life it may seem overwhelming it's overwhelming in your marriage your children are giving trouble your finance don't look like what has been spoken there is some battles in your mind that you are facing you got some reports from the doctor that is not favorable to what has been spoken over your life and you don't know what you're going to go do. There is trouble on the job. They're about to let you go. They're about to fire you. They're about to give you a pink slip. Glory to God. They're about to put you on furlough. But I'm here to tell somebody this morning you gotta just continue to wait upon the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. There is something that God uh, is teaching you in the midst of this. Uh, there is something that God uh, is trying to allow you to understand uh, in the midst of this. Uh, the Bible says uh, that as the winds begin, uh, glory to God, as the winds begin to blow, uh, as the rain begin to fall, uh, as the thunder, glory to God, begin to roll, uh, as the lightning begin to flash, uh, they didn't know what what else to do? You got to know how to flip the script on the enemy. And before you allow fear to take you over, you need to know how to call on Jesus. The songwriter says, I can call on Jesus. I can call him anytime because he is, he's always on the line. You got to understand this morning that he does not sleep and he does not slumber. Glory to God. He is not slack concerning his promises towards your life. So your direction is to get across the other side. How do you get across? How do you go through to get through the other side of through when the storm clouds is in your way? How do you get through the other side of through when there is some things that you're looking at that you don't know how you're going to overcome? commit. Let me tell you how you're going to get through. You're going to open up your mouth and you're going to cry out to the God who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that which we ever even ask or think. It could have been Peter. It could have been a glory to God. It could have been Nathaniel. It could have been glory to God. One of the 
other disciples, but somebody, glory to God, they open up their mouths and they begin to call in Jesus and they say, Jesus, the ship started to, glory to God, rock too low. They call and say, Jesus, ah, we need you in times like this. Jesus woke up. He woke up out of humanity, but he was still awake in divinity. Now, glory to God, he woke up out of humanity and he was resting the body because he was maybe tired, but he wasn't tired in divinity. And he demonstrated he demonstrated his power. What am I saying to you, somebody? Glory to God. I'm saying that Jesus, Jesus just wake up. He come under the Boshaya and he's coming to your rescue. He come under the Oshaya. He's coming to your circumstance. He's coming to your situation. When Jesus came up, the first thing he saw, he and the say the first thing he saw was the fear on the disciples face you gotta understand that God has not given you the spirit of fear but of power and love and not only that but of a sound mind because of the storm their mind was all over the place because of the storm they could not think straight because of the storm they got confused because of the storm they got bewildered because of the storm they couldn't follow the direction of Jesus Christ anymore so they begin to cry out and as they begin to cry out then God begin to move hallelujah glory to God it seems as if that he was not there but the songwriter says he was there all the time remember in his word he said that he will never leave you he said that he will never forsake you nor your seed begging bread. Jesus the Bible says that Jesus came up. He came up out of the hinder part of the ship. It just simply means that he was all the way in the back. He was some place where the eyes could not grace him. He was some place, glory to God, where the eyes could not see him. And you're looking for Jesus and your eyes can't see him. And the story storm is raging. There is an unrest that is going on in your spirit because you don't know what the next move is. A feeling of disturbance. A feeling of dissatisfaction. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I get to understand. Hallelujah. When God is teaching you a lesson and how to trust him more, he will cause some storms. Glory to God to come in your life. Have you ever wondered to yourself what triggered your last storm? What triggered your last struggles? What triggered your last trials? What triggered your last situation? The last prayer that you prayed, you said, God, I need more patience. The last prayer that you prayed, you said, God, I need to draw closer to you. The last prayer that you prayed, you said, God, I need to get rid of the spirit of fear. The last prayer that you prayed. You said, God, I need to be an intercessor. The last prayer that you prayed, you said, God, I need you to teach me your word. And in order for God to get you, glory to God to where he wants to get you, you said something that triggered the storm. And the storm was triggered in your life. But you got to understand somebody. Not because the storm is triggered. It doesn't mean that fear is going to take you over. Not not because the storm is triggered. Hallelujah. The Lord says don't get overwhelmed. The Lord says don't get bewildered. The Lord says don't get weary. The Lord says don't get tired. Because there is a response that he has for the storm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I remember when. Glory to God. I remember the apostle Paul. I remember he said to them. 
me said, listen, you got to be confident in this one thing. He that started a good work shall complete it and shall perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. What am I saying, somebody? He set you on your journey. He set you on your way. He's not going to leave you halfway through the journey. He's not going to leave you halfway through the way, but he's going to see to it that you get to the other side. So the storm that you're looking at is just an asset. It's just an asset to your life that's going to build your faith. It's just an asset to your life. A glory to God that's going to give you strength. It's just an asset to your life. I hear the Lord said to tell somebody, stop looking at your storm as a threat. Stop looking at, I hear God say, Keto Shanda. I hear the Holy Ghost said, he says, stop saying, why me? He says, stop throwing a pity party for yourself. If you don't, I hear the Lord says, if you don't go through this, you're not going to know what's awaiting you on the other side. Glory to God. Because our God is progressive and because he moves from glory to glory and because you cannot stay in the same position and place that you were in, you got to put away fear, look at the storm, glory to God, and speak to the storm. The Bible says that he awoke up out of his sleep. He come up. He come up now to where the disciples is. I would assume because the ship was filled with water. I would assume that water was probably up to their ankle. Water was probably up to their waist. And they, did, and they didn't know what they were going to do. Jesus came up out of the ship. And when he came up up, Keto Shanda, glory to God, he looked up to heaven, gazed, hallelujah, at the winds and the rain, glory to God, hallelujah, and he just uttered a few words out of his mouth, he began to say, peace, be still, watch this somebody, the Lord said your storm came into your life suddenly. Kato Shanda. Glory to God. It came into your life suddenly. It shook you, Ketamando Shaya, to the core. And you didn't know what you were going to do. But the fact that you knew who your God was and what your God can do. Glory to God. The fact that you knew when you call upon me, I am the one that's going to give you rest and relieve you from the unrest glory to God hallelujah or the dis the dissatisfaction that you are going through the Bible says that when he opened up his mouth he said peace be still peace be still the Lord Jesus spoke three words and everything ceased. He was sleeping in humanity, but he was watching in divinity. Echo Shatarabahaya. He was sleeping in humanity, but he was watching in divinity. Your storm was not strange to God. Your circumstance that you are going through right now, it's not strange to God. Your situation that you're facing this very moment connected to the broadcast, it's not strange to God. The Lord says, if you cry, I will not only respond to you, but I will respond to the storm. God's response to the disciples was to wake up. So before he respond to the before he respond to the storm, he will respond to you to let you know.
know that he is in control. He responded to the disciples to give them a peace of mind that I am still here. I am still God. There is no other God but me. I stand alone. I am Jehovah Jireh. I am Jehovah Rapha. I am Jehovah Shalom. I am Jehovah Makadesh. I am Jehovah Sikanu. I'm the same God yesterday, today, forever, forever. Today and forevermore, I'm the God who was and is and is to come. I'm the first, I'm the last, I am the beginning, I'm the ending, I'm the alpha, I'm the omega. So he came up and he responded. God is responding to your uncomfortableness to put you in a place of comfort before he responds to your circumstance. Him showing up, him coming up from the hinder part of the ship. Is his response to their cry to let them know that he's in control. After he reassured them that they're covered, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord that he's my refuge and my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. He responded to them and gave them comfort. Then he responded to the storm and reassured them that he's in control. The Lord is going to respond to you just to give you comfort. In times like these, people need comfort in knowing that they're under the umbrella of Jesus Christ. He responded to them by coming out. But he opened up his mouth and responded to the storm. Which gives the disciples a reassurance that it's going to be alright. So you're going through, you're going through. God is getting ready to respond to you. The storm that you're in, it was designed for you. It wasn't designed for your mama. It wasn't designed for your neighbor. It wasn't designed for your friend, but it was designed for you. The Lord said to tell you that your storm was built to fit you. And he will give you enough grace because God will never allow you to go through anything that he won't give you the grace to take you through it. So he will give you enough grace to go through it. The psalmist says, the Lord is my refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Trouble is there. But simultaneously, help is also there. But he's just waiting for you to cry. His grace is sufficient for the storm that you're facing. When you look at verse 41, it says, And they, and they feared exceedingly. Now watch this. The fear that they had now switched to a different kind of fear. The fear that they started out with was a fear that seems that harm was coming their way. But the fear that they ended with is the fear that God is in control. Or in other words, another word for that fear is they reverenced Jesus for who he is. So the fear switched. And not only did the fear switch, 
but they got to where they needed to get to. How do you know that? When you go over to chapter 5, and I'm going to read verse 1 of chapter 5. It says, verse 41 says, And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this? That even the wind and the sea obey. By the time you get through the storm, you're going to see God for who he is. Your next storm or the storm that you're in or the storm that you are about to go into is going to allow you to see God in a whole different light. This storm that the disciples went through, they had a first and experience of the power of God. What are you saying, pastor? When God is finished with you, glory to God, you're not going to have a second and testimony. But God is giving you a first and testimony. He's giving you an experience that you can tell somebody that God is a healer. He's giving you an experience that you can tell somebody that God is a deliverer. You can, you, he's giving you an experience to tell you that you can tell somebody that he is a way maker, a miracle worker, a promise keeper, a light in the darkness. Verse 5 and chapter, verse 5, chapter 5 and verse 1 says, And they came over onto the other side of the sea, into the country of Genezareth. So they made it over. Hallelujah. Unto the other side. Through the winds. Through the rains. Through the storm. Thought that they were going to die. Thought. Glory to God. Thought that they were going to sink. Thought that this was it. God so intimidated by the winds and the waves and the storms. God so disturbed in their spirit, glory to God, because they look at what their eyes can see, but they did not see what Jesus saw. And I love the God who I serve because I can't see what he can see. Because his eyes, it's still on the sparrow this morning. Echo Shanda Rabahaya. His eyes are still on the sparrow. And I know this morning that he watches me. So, what is your response today to the storm? Echo Rabah Shanda Rabahse. What is your response this morning? To the situation that you're looking at. What is your response this morning? Hallelujah. To the circumstance that you see. What's your response to the storm? Jesus' response was. Peace. Be still. And I just want to tell somebody. When you cry out to him. He will respond to your storm. And you're going to make it over onto the other side. The scripture said, the enemy come but to steal and to kill and destroy. But because there is a calling on your life. And because there is so much for you to do for God. He's going to continually give you life. And that more abundantly. 
So be encouraged. Be strengthened this morning from the crown of your head unto the sole of your feet. I speak life over your life. For those who are going through the storm and it seems as if that God is nowhere to be found. You got to understand that he does not show up when you want him to show up. But he's an on-time God. And the fact that he's an on-time God is going to show up. And he's not only going to show up, but understand that he is also going to show off. So be encouraged this morning. Be strengthened this morning. I'm going to play this song for somebody. Glory to God. Jesus, you got to know who has it. Who has the final say? Not the storm. Listen to this song this morning, amen. We are going to pray, amen. And as we pray, um, if you have an offering to give, amen. I see Prophetess, she's putting up the links on the screen, and then we're gonna pray for all our givers. Glory to God, and we're gonna pray for you know all the seed sowers this morning. If you have a if you want to go ahead and just sow a seed into this word and just into the ministry, glory to God, you can go ahead and do that and we are going to pray. If this word has blessed you this morning and if you are encouraged, you can just you know, go ahead and utilize the links on the um, screen that are going up. You can give via cash app or PayPal, or Zelly, glory to God, hallelujah, I have no fear this morning because I know that my God, I know that my God is in control. you somebody but the fact that he's in control of the storm I have no reason to fear him. I'm going to give you a few more minutes for those who are giving Amen Glory to God Thank you Lord for who you are this morning Glory to God Say hi I am the Lord is my light. The Lord is my light. I have no reason to fear. I have no reason to fear. Hallelujah. We're getting ready to pray. Glory to God. Father God, we give you praise. We give you glory. 
We give you honor this morning, mighty God. We thank you for who you are. We thank you, mighty God, that you're God and you're God all by yourself and you don't need no other to be God. We thank you for your word this morning, God, your word that would encourage, uplift, strengthen this morning, God, in the name of Jesus, mighty God, rebuke and reprove, Father. Even as the word went forth, Father God, I pray that we will allow the word to resonate in our hearts and our minds and our soul and in our spirit, God. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray that you will remember, remember the givers this morning, Father God, those who, mighty God, sow into this ministry, those who sow, mighty God, those who give their tithes and their offering this morning. Mighty God, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus, God, that you will leave no stones unturned in their life. Mighty God, I pray, Father God, that you will bless them in their going out and their coming in. Mighty God, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that their store basket will not go empty. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, that you will continue to open up doors, that you will continue to make ways for them out of nowhere. Open up doors, God, where there is walls. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, God, breathe upon them. God, bless their finances. God, breathe upon the givers this morning. God, remember those who have not to give. God, they really want to give, but they really don't have it. I pray, Father, that you will touch them this morning and remember them today. Remember each and every person on this broadcast this morning, even as they tune in and join in from different cities and different homes and different countries. I pray, Father God, that the word would resonate in their hearts, would resonate in their minds, would resonate in their spirit. Father, Touch them like only you can, God. Remember, Lord God, remember us today as a body. Lord God, touch us and keep us with thank you for your word and your presence and your spirit and your anointing. Have your way. We bless your name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. In Jesus' name, if you are still giving, glory to God, just go ahead and do so. Ah, we worship him today. We worship him today and we magnify him. We bless his name. I have no reason to fear. I have no reason to fear. No reason to fear. The Lord bless your people of God. We give God praise. We give Him glory. I have no reason. I have no reason to. The Lord is my light. 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 God bless you today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, all right? God bless you. We love you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for standing with us. Amen. And have a blessed, wonderful rest of your day.